Hi everyone, I'm very, very excited because today I have just received my very first package from the Koda Gumi shop and it's right here. I just took off the shipping labels and the tape just for the sake of the video. So basically what I'm expecting in here is the Walk of My Life fan club edition with the Blu-ray package. So let's just go ahead and open it up and look at it. I haven't seen what the cover is at all yet and I really don't know what to expect so I'm pretty excited. Okay, so the first thing in here is just the invoice. Um, this whole package costs about a hundred and eight dollars or ten thousand and eight hundred ten thousand eight hundred yen and this is just an insert from the mumo shop um basically just promotional junk not too interesting so the first thing is the standard issue album and this is the blu-ray edition i really liked most of the editions of this album i don't think i could pick which one is my favorite so far but that's the front cover and this is the back this is the interior. Okay, so this one looks like it's the actual album. That's it. And then this is the Blu-ray disc. It comes with five music videos as well as a making up video. And this is the booklet. Oh, this is so cute. So the booklet had this inserted into it and it says the Kotokumi 15th anniversary lottery. And I'm guessing it's for a live or something. It came with these inserts. Uh, that's and So a lot of these images I already saw on the internet, but they're all following the same theme as the cover. Um, not too spicy, it's pretty classy as far as Kotokumi goes. So that is the Blu-ray edition. And next I got this promo item. So this came with, um, I think the I think this came with the the different packages. So you could buy the fan club edition that came with um, the Blu-ray or the fan club edition that came with the DVD version. And you could pick if you wanted to get the Kotokumi pen or a mirror. And I chose the pen because I already have like 5,000 compact mirrors. So this is it. Um, this will focus, but yeah, I mean, it's not like a great quality pen, but it was free, so whatever. And then this is the fan club edition, so this is primarily what I was ordering off the Kotakumi website for. And there's the cover, as you can see, it's a close up, like shoulder up shot, and then that's the back. So it's a little bit different album art and obviously it's a different case and everything. And so this includes the album again and it also includes a special live DVD and that was exclusive to the fan club edition. And this is the Kotokumi 15th anniversary first class second limited live at Studio Coast. And I believe they cut it together from various live performances because there's 62 tracks <laughs> as well as like a making of type of thing. A paper case but it's it feels like it's pretty decent quality like it feels like it's um a lot better than some of the other paper cases that i have so it's a fold out like that disc one is the album and this is the dvd and here's the pamphlet and it came with the same inserts in the pamphlet and the book seems like it's essentially the same as in the other edition um, it just is sized down, obviously. So that's the fan club edition. And now there's one more item in the box. It's a poster. Ooh! Okay, so this is the Walk of My Life poster. And it's the same cover as the cover of the fan club edition. And it looks like it has a quote on this side. So that's very exciting. I don't have very many posters as you can see, so I'm pretty excited about that. I think that's gonna go right over here. So yeah, that was the whole package that I got so far. That was actually my first order off of the Kodagumi site, like I said. And I actually had quite a few problems ordering stuff. But before I get into that, I just wanna say the positive things, and that is that I really liked how this stuff was packaged. The albums came in a box like this. So they're each held in one of these cardboard things. 
Um, so they were kind of held in place and then the, the poster was underneath so nothing was crushing the other thing. And I also liked how the poster was in a plastic sleeve. I'm guessing that's that was packaged by the Mumo shop and not necessarily by the shipping service. Um, but I like how that was in a sleeve rather than taped up and held together paper like off of um, CD Japan. But yeah, so signing up for the Kodagumi uh, International Fan Club website is fairly easy in itself. All you really need is a credit card because it does cost $25 a year for a membership. But after that, you have to sign up for a another website called Tenso if you want to order anything off the fan club uh, store. So Tenso basically is a third party shipping service in Japan and what they do is they'll receive your items from the Kodagumi shop or the Mumo shop and then once you are ready to ship yourself internationally you just go on your account on their website and they will send it to you. So that in itself seems fairly easy except when I signed up for Tenso, for whatever reason they, they wouldn't accept my ID. So when you sign up for Tenso, you have to submit a copy of one of your IDs that proves your address and your name and everything. And also your age, I think, and just like the first thing I submitted, they didn't accept. And then the second thing I submitted, they didn't accept because it had my middle name on it and that was confusing for some reason. So then I had to change my Tenso profile to include my middle name. and. That process just took a while and then when I was trying to order my stuff off the Koda Gumi shop um, it was for some reason the form was very very picky about the type of text you're entering in for the address so basically Tenso gives you their address for you to send your stuff to their warehouse and if I copied the text um, for the address out of like the email from Tenso um, it wouldn't accept it <laughs> for some reason, but if I copied it off a different web page, it would be accepted. It was really weird and it took like a million tries to get it to go through, um, but I did end up emailing Tenso about it and their customer service is pretty good. They're very fast and their English is very good. So that was a bonus, but it just took a couple of weeks for me to actually order all of my stuff because of all the problems I had with the ID verification and with actually entering the shipping address, which you would think is not a problem, but I don't know. I don't think that's necessarily Tenso's problem. It's the form on the Mumo shop. And then following that, I got an email from Tenso saying that some of the items I had ordered were not able to be shipped to Canada. And those were the Kodakumi uh, perfume set. So I had ordered four perfume roller balls um, from the Kodagumi shop. And basically when Tenso received them, they told me that it's illegal for anything with alcohol content to be shipped to Canada. So I basically had to either discard the item or return it, um, or I had to send it to somewhere in Japan. <laughs> Um, so basically, I didn't really want to return it. I obviously did not want to discard it because they cost about $80, I think, and that would be stupid. So luckily, my Japanese friend who has brought my stuff back that I've shown you guys in my videos before, she said that she's going to Japan sometime early in the summer or late in the spring, and so I can ship it to her parents' house and then she'll bring it back for me again in her luggage. Because bringing perfume back in your luggage is perfectly okay, it's just shipping it for some reason is not okay. So I emailed Tenso back and told them that I had a Japanese address I could send it to, and they said, well, you have to successfully receive a package from us in Canada before we are allowed to send it domestically. <laughs> So I had to pay for international shipping just for my albums, which is not that big of a deal, but it was kind of annoying at the same time knowing that I had wanted to order more at once. But once I have received that, which I have now, I can ship my perfumes to um, my friend in Japan and I'll be getting those in the summer. <laughs> so the whole thing was kind of a big mess, but it worked out in the end, I guess. And I'm not sure if I will continue with my membership after this year at Kodagumi. I We'll probably just wait and see. Um, there's not a heck of a lot of stuff on the website that I was impressed by. Like a lot of people just tend to copy all of the bonus um, videos and photos and stuff and put it up on Tumblr so you can see it for free anyway. So basically I just wanted access to the store but it's such a pain in the ass to use the stuff of the store so far. So we'll see what happens and we'll see how much I enjoy actually having the fan club edition. And I don't know, I wasn't too crazy about having two copies of the album. I mean, it's 
I don't know what I'm gonna do with two copies of the album. It's cool to have the Blu-ray and the fan club edition, but it would just be a lot better if there is an edition that was like the fan club edition that came with a live DVD and the Blu-ray instead of two different sets of the album. It just takes up more space, and like I said, I don't need two discs of the album. So yeah, that's all I had to say about Kodokumi for now, and I'm really, really excited to listen to the album. I actually managed to wait and not spoil myself for most of the songs. I have obviously heard the singles, but I haven't listened to the album as a whole online yet, and I'm looking forward to it, and I hope I will have a review up for it soon. And I'm interested to hear what you guys think about it, and yeah, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Every single song. It's kind of like a pop, folksy almost type of style. Nina Gordon has a fairly strong but not like amazing type of voice. It's kind of